Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Weekly Window Talk with Sammy the Window Girl. Today, we are talking about extension jams. What is an extension jam? Well, a jam extension does precisely what the name suggests. It's a frame that fills the depth of the wall space from the inside face of the window frame, or jam. So, when would you use an extension jam? Okay. So, again, every week when I talk about window um, topics, you always have to remember, you still have to go back and check with your manufacturer. In the United States, there's like 500-plus window manufacturers. So you have to check to see what their specific specifications are. I am talking about the windows that I make, are three and a quarter inch master frame. Even my new construction window has a three and a quarter inch master frame. The master frame is the frame that the sash fits into, right? Doesn't really matter what kind of window that you're talking about. If it's a slider window, a double hung window, a casement window, every window has to have what's called a master frame that the sash, which is the moving part typically of the window, that wouldn't be true for a picture window because a picture window is a stationary window, anyway, has a frame that the sash fits into. So my windows are three and a quarter inch master frame. So let's just say that you need to make up more of the frame to get, let's say, your wall thickness is four and nine sixteenths. Well, you can add to the depth of the window by installing what's called a extension jam. It literally adds depth to the window. So it is flush with the wall thickness. Okay, so it doesn't ever change the width or the height of the window. It just changes the depth of it. So you have to refer back to your manufacturer to see how thick their master frame is Um, because everybody has a different way of making windows and some people have a thinner master frame especially if it's a single hung window or a single slider window I often refer to them as like a builder series window I sell those but very rare I like to sell just the regular three and a quarter inch frames. Um, So basically, you want to also take into consideration if it's a new construction window or if it's a replacement window. Because on a new construction window, remember, that's a flange that you're nailing, right, from the outside of the house into the frame. So you have to be really you know, careful when you're measuring for your extension jam. So the whole reason, for, again, for the extension jam is basically it, it can be easier for people to just finish off the window um, if you need to add the depth. But again, every house is different. It's been constructed differently. Windows are constructed differently. And it's just a finishing piece, really, that you want to add on. Now, Typically what happens is is when somebody wants to order uh, extension jam from me, they give me the overall depth of what they want the jam to be. And then we go ahead and when we add it on, we're going to go ahead and, and rip the material to make it the exact thickness, the depth that you need. So if you say, okay, I need four and nine sixteenths is what my jam extension needs to be, I'm including my three and a quarter inch master frame in that size. So when you order a jam extension, 
at least for me, again, every manufacturer is different. I want the overall thickness. I want the overall depth. Don't add on, oh, I need two inches of a jam extension on my three and a quarter inch window, and now it's going to be five and a quarter inch. No. Give me exactly the depth that you need, and I'm going to make that window to your specifications. Now, extension jams that I offer, I offer them in two different types of material. One is the PVC board, and the other one is the poplar wood. And both of those materials can be painted for the inside. Um, so that's, that's an easy project for anybody that if you wanted to paint the color on the inside, you could. Um, for me, I sell mostly the PVC because um, the majority of the windows that I do sell are white. Um, I would say probably 90% of the windows that I sell are white. Um, but you do have the option for the poplar. So, again, it is attached to the end of the frame. You're just adding window depth. It'll be exactly flush with the jam. I mean, uh, once you order it correctly. So, um, you just want to make sure that if you're ordering it for a new construction window, that the nail fin is midway from the jam width, okay? So you want to be, it's that, there's your halfway point. You want to be real accurate when you're measuring with a new construction flange. Um, you know, for an extension jam, you know, from where it starts, it, it can't be extended out in any way because you're adding to the depth and it's just always tricky when you when you have the uh, new construction nail fin. So these are really nice because it does cut down on labor costs when you're dealing with you know a tight budget. So if you need to, if you're working with a homeowner and you need to fill in that space, a jam extension is a nice easy way to go ahead and have that window just fit right in that pocket there you know and it has a very clean look to it also so it can cut down on labor costs so you know people aren't running around trying to you know every time a laborer has to run to the saw to cut wood to fill in the inside or to fill in any kind of a space that is how many times per hour that they have to Go from the window, sometimes down off a ladder, all the way outside to use their tools to cut material, to come back in, to then install it. And all of that, you know, labor is very time. The time is what's really expensive, you know, because it's, it's intense. The labor has to use all these tools. They have to measure. You know, when you order a window with an extension jam, we're doing all that work for you right here at the factory. So it's a time saver and it has a nice clean look to the outside and the inside of the window. So again, what I really want to stress here is that when you're using an extension jam, the purpose of it is to add depth to the jam, you know, for on the frame. So it sits flush with the jam. It's extremely helpful. It's a great tool to use. And I don't know why more people don't know about it or don't know how to order it properly. And then, of course, if you have any questions when you're ordering a product like that, you can always call me. Um, anytime anybody has any window questions or you want to talk about a show topic, feel free to give me a call. My phone number is area code 630-487-8312. Six three zero four eight seven eight three one two. I am located in the Midwest in Chicago, Illinois. I do service Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Michigan, Tennessee, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, New York, and Baltimore, Maryland are the states that I work in pretty much every day um, as far as, like, working with accounts. 
new home builders, remodelers, window installers, <laughs> window franchise companies. I am a window wholesaler. My office hours are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. And that is in the central uh, t- CST Central Standard Time Zone. Um, again, if you are interested in learning more about windows, you can go ahead and pull up any of my podcasts. You can even say, hey, Alexa, play weekly window talk with Sammy the Window Girl. And I do a new show every single week. Um, I've been in the window industry for 30 years, and I love my job. I will be in the window industry until the day that I die. I can also be found on LinkedIn under Sammy Nelson. I'm on Google+, Plus, Instagram, and you can visit my Facebook page under Sammy Windows. And I have my product line is everything is custom made. My products are made twice as fast as anybody else. And I would love to hear from anybody who would like me to find out whatever topic you're interested in that you want to talk about. You can email me. And if I think that, you know, there's enough interest there, I will go ahead and discuss it. So I just want to thank everybody who listens to my downloads and gives me positive feedback. And I appreciate all the shares on Google Plus and also on LinkedIn. So I will be back next week uh, with another show topic. And I do appreciate, once again, everybody who does tune in and listen and wishing everybody a positive week. Thank you so much. This is Sammy signing off.